So you may have heard of a funnel system before, and you may have even heard of different software tools that help you do that. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how you can set up your own e-commerce funnel on your Shopify store. So stay tuned. So if you're a fan of online marketing, you've probably heard of click funnels and other kind of funnel strategies that are out there. So in essence, a funnel is where you're getting a big group of people, you are sending them to a specific page, and then you're really kind of filtering them down. So you're getting people who maybe you're sending a large amount of traffic at first to your site, and then the next tier is people that actually purchase from you. The next tier down is people that maybe purchase an upsell or additional offer that you have, and you're really kind of narrowing that in. So that way, by the end of it, you're getting people that are really, really hyper-focused on your products and are buying multiple different products from you. So I really wanna talk about how you can actually do this with Shopify, and you don't need other different software out there to accomplish this. So the biggest thing to think about when you're thinking about an e-commerce funnel is really your customer journey overall. So you wanna of course make sure that you're thinking about who your ideal customer is and making sure that you're sending that qualified traffic to your site. Because if you're just sending kind of any traffic that you can get to your site, it's overall just not gonna convert well and you're not gonna make the sales that you're expecting because you're not sending the right traffic to your site. So first off, make sure that you're sending the right traffic to your site, but you really wanna think through of, okay, now that they've hit your site, where do they go from here? Well, hopefully if you're running an ad, you're not sending them to your homepage because then they're gonna get distracted. So if you're going to be running some paid advertising for your e-commerce store, you wanna make sure that you are sending them to a collection page or even a specific product page that they either saw in the ad or that is going to really resonate with them the most. Once you send them to that, you wanna think through of what other additional products that they will be interested in. So we've talked about this in another video, which I will link up here somewhere, but all about different product upsells and cross sells that you can do for your store. So you can do this through a couple different Shopify apps and we have all the information and I'll also link it below as well. So you can see how to set this up for your store. But what a product upsell is or cross sell is giving someone an option to add a little bit more to their cart to purchase more from you, but you're still not going to be you know, annoying them by sending them a totally separate product. And instead you're going to make sure that they are still going to be interested in it. It's kind of like whenever you go to McDonald's and they ask if you want fries with that or a Coke, it's because they know that those things pair really well with their hamburger. So think about also when you're going to buy a brand new pair of Nike shoes, well, you may also need some better performing socks that are easier to run in or, or whatever. So it's things that they already are going to be kind of in the same wheelhouse and they may already be interested in that product as well. And they may just not know that they need to purchase that. But as soon as you show it to them on your site, then they go, hey, you know what? I'm buying these tennis shoes. I would like some socks as well. And just add that to the cart. So the benefit of this is not only is your customer purchasing more from you, which is increasing that average order value, but also they are going through the journey more on your site. So you have more information about them and what they are interested in, and you can use that data to really target them moving forward along the funnel system that you're going to be doing for your store. Okay, so I've already talked about a couple different things. So let's recap real quick before we go on to the next steps. So the first step is making sure that you are sending qualified traffic to your site. The second step is to add them to a specific product page or collection page so that you know that they are going to be interested in that and you're not gonna just be sending them to your homepage or somewhere else in your site where they're gonna get distracted. The third step is then going to be to do different upsells or cross sells so that hopefully they order more than just one product from you, that they order a couple different complementary products as well and increase that average order cart value. The fourth step and something that is overlooked so many times with e-commerce stores is actually then following up with them through email. So you've got their email address, they're added in because now they're a customer and you wanna make sure that you are adding value continually 
throughout the entire process. So while you are packing their order and getting it ready to send out, you wanna make sure that you send an email or two letting them know, hey, their order is about to be shipped out and you've confirmed their order, which those will be done through Shopify, but also using a email service provider like MailChimp or Klaviyo to go in and tell them more about your business and your brand and why you're different from everyone else. So making sure that you're kind of indoctrinating them a little bit more to your story. But once they are used to opening those emails from you and they're excited to see what else you have to say, then it's a great time to move on to the next step of the funnel, which is going to be to actually continue to reach out to them about additional products that they may like. So for example, let's talk about tennis shoes. So if they purchase tennis shoes at first and then you upsold them on socks, well, then you may want to actually then reach out to them through email, maybe let's say two weeks later, and tell them about a shoe cleaner that you also have on your store. Or do they need more socks? Or you know maybe you have a new shoe design that just came out that you think that they may be interested in because they bought the same color shoe just in a different style before. The more data that you have on your customers, the more you can segment them in your email marketing and make sure that you're sending emails that are really going to resonate with them and that they're going to be interested in. And the fifth and final step of setting up an e-commerce funnel with Shopify is something that a ton of businesses don't do, so you'll definitely get the upper hand if you do this, but it's remarketing. So you can actually upload your email list to Facebook as well as target people who have recently purchased on your site. So you have to have the Facebook pixel installed, but you can make a separate list of people who had purchased from you in the last 90 days or whatever it is, and then send them ads specifically. So you can have those remarketing ads say, for our VIP customers, or because you bought this before, we think you'd be interested in this now as well. So you can really make sure that you're continuing the conversation and keeping them coming back to your site again and again. Yes, it's great to get someone to purchase from you one time, but it's way better to get them to purchase from you like five times, right? You're gonna make a lot more money and especially the more that you are building up that no like and trust factor with them, the more likely they are to think of you next time they need to purchase that pair of shoes and go, well, hey, I purchased a great pair of shoes and socks before from this business. I need another pair of shoes, so I'm gonna go back to their site. You wanna make sure that you are staying top of mind with people and by kind of creating this funnel system to really move them throughout your site and create that customer journey for them, you're getting them a lot more familiar with your brand and a lot more likely of a chance that they are going to purchase from you again if they had a great experience the first time. So that's kind of the basic e-commerce strategy for building a funnel for your Shopify store. You don't need any of these fancy tools and software that you also have to integrate with Shopify. You can just do it by using your existing Shopify store, using email marketing and paid advertising with remarketing to follow up with people. And then you're going to continually have them coming back to your store again and again. So I would love to hear what you thought about that. Are you implementing something like this on your store now? And if so, how is it performing? I would love to know, so make sure to comment below. And if you don't have this set up yet on your store, but you're interested in it, I would love to hear that as well. Comment below, yes, I'm gonna set this up this week or whatever your timeline is so we can help hold you accountable. And if you're interested in more growth strategies about how to launch and grow your Shopify store, check out our playlist here for our top growth strategies for 2020 for Shopify. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.